Big news, everyone. After much anticipation, patient, SpaceX has officially released exciting updates for Flight 7. The list of upgrades is packed with major enhancements, and many of them have far exceeded everyone's expectations, including mine. But that's not all. SpaceX also kicked off this booming year with a successful Falcon 9 mission. With so many important news coming from the company, there's no time to waste. So let's dive right on in on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We are on the brink of an exciting milestone. Flight 7, the first Starship flight of 2025. This year promises groundbreaking, incredible achievements and innovations that will continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. The Starship program is rapidly advancing, and with Flight 7 on the horizon, it's time to look at what has been accomplished so far and what's coming next. To date, SpaceX has been hard at work testing and refining the components for Starship. The stages have already completed their individual tests, and the next step is to move towards the final integration. The B-14 booster has been successfully transported to the launch pad, marking a significant milestone in the mission's preparation. In the latest update, SpaceX revealed that on the night of January 2nd, the FTS, or Flight Termination System, was installed on the B-14 booster, a crucial step in ensuring the safety of the flight. Now, B-14 will remain in place, awaiting the arrival of Starship S-33, where the stacking and integration process will take place. With all these preparations coming together, SpaceX is getting closer and closer to achieving its next major goal, Flight 7. To keep everyone informed, updates on the Flight 7 NOTAMs, or Notice to Airmen, have been released. These NOTAMs specify the warning areas and the exact timing of the flight, making it clear that everything is on track. Additionally, SpaceX has also provided updates on the schedule and maps for observation aircraft, which will be crucial for tracking the flight from a distance. As these updates roll in, it's evident that SpaceX is preparing for a thrilling launch. In fact, after these promising updates, SpaceX officially released further details about Flight 7, and the excitement is palpable. On social media, the company posted a tweet saying, Starship's sixth flight test aims to push the vehicle to its limits as we iterate towards a rapidly reusable rocket. Up next, a new ship, new year, and new limits. Excitement still guaranteed. This tweet underscores the sense of anticipation with the promise of new milestones and technology improvements. Musk himself emphasized the importance of these technical upgrades, saying, Posting technical upgrades to Starship, as I think a lot of people enjoy understanding how the technology is evolving from one flight to the next. Musk's comment highlights the company's transparency and commitment to keeping the public informed as they work towards a fully reusable rocket system. Go ahead and uh, dive into some of these exciting specifics. As SpaceX has confirmed, Flight 7 will feature the debut of Starship V2, a new generation of the spacecraft with several significant upgrades. Among the most notable advancements is the introduction of new systems aimed at improving the reliability and performance of Starship's upper stage. SpaceX explained that these upgrades include modifications to the forward flap, which will now be smaller and have sharper edges. The flaps will also be repositioned closer to the tip of the vehicle and moved further from the heat shield. This adjustment is designed to improve the forward flap's contribution to navigation while also providing better protection during re-entry. One of the most crucial updates involves the propulsion system. Starship V2 will feature a 25% increase in fuel volume, which will allow for longer missions. To support this improvement, the vehicle will also see advancements in its fuel feed line system, which supplies fuel to the Raptor vacuum engines. Additionally, SpaceX will implement vacuum jacketing for the feed lines and improve the propulsion avionics module, which controls the vehicle's valves and sensors. As for the heat shield, which has been a focal point of previous Starship updates, this new version will include next-generation tiles that offer enhanced protection. These tiles will be supplemented with a backup layer to ensure protection in areas where tiles may be missing or damaged further improving the spacecraft's resilience during re-entry. Meanwhile, avionics, a crucial aspect of the vehicle's flight control, will also undergo substantial upgrades. 
The redesigned avionics system will incorporate more powerful flight computers, integrated antennas that combine Starlink, GNSS, and backup RF communication functions, and updated inertial navigation and star tracking sensors. Additionally, the system will feature smart batteries and power units, providing 2.7 megawatts of power distributed across 24 high-voltage actuators. More than 30 cameras will be installed on the vehicle to monitor hardware performance during flight, offering engineers real-time insights that will allow them to make rapid adjustments and improvements. Speaking of Starlink, the satellite internet system will also play a critical role in the upcoming flight, as SpaceX highlighted that the Starship will be capable of streaming more than 120 megabits per second of high-definition video and telemetry throughout the mission. This capability will also allow engineers and viewers alike to track the spacecraft's journey more closely than ever before. As Starlink's capabilities continue to evolve, it's clear that the system will play an essential role in the success of future missions. Now let's talk about the mission itself. Flight 7 will carry payloads, marking the first time Starship will deploy payloads in space. SpaceX has confirmed that the spacecraft will deploy 10 Starlink simulators designed to mimic the size and mass of the next generation of Starlink satellites. This payload deployment will take place during a suborbital trajectory, providing valuable data and expanding the capabilities of Starship. Additionally, SpaceX plans to relight one of the Raptor engines in space, a key test, to demonstrate the vehicle's ability to perform complex maneuvers in orbit. At the end of the mission, the plan is for the second stage to make a controlled vertical landing in the Indian Ocean. This landing is part of the ongoing development of the spacecraft's reusability, which will ultimately be crucial for the long-term success of the program. And I've got to say, one of the most exciting aspects of this flight is the series of tests that will be conducted to prepare for the eventual catching of the second stage during future missions, potentially starting with Flight 8. As part of this preparation, SpaceX has removed some tiles to stress test certain areas of the spacecraft, particularly those that are vulnerable during re-entry. This is all for a new metallic tile along with an active cooling system that will be tested on this flight to verify its capabilities in protecting Starship during re-entry. Thermal systems will also be installed on both sides of the ship to mitigate any issues related to heat buildup. A radar sensor will be tested on the chopstick system as well, which will be used to measure the distance between the vehicle and the catching system with greater accuracy. This upgrade is essential for improving the chances of a successful Starship catch in future missions, and it represents a significant step forward in developing reusable space transportation systems. Along with that, the Super Heavy Booster, which will also play a key role in this mission, will reuse an engine from the B-12 Flight 5 booster, likely Raptor 314, marking the first reusability milestone for Starship. The reason why this is another exciting development is that it demonstrates SpaceX's commitment to reusability and cost-effective space travel. As for the tower hardware, it'll undergo improvements to better withstand the impacts of the launch process and ensure that the catch system remains intact and functional. In case of an emergency or unsuccessful catch attempt, SpaceX has a backup landing plan in the Gulf of Mexico. Prioritizing safety first and foremost. The company also acknowledged the significant noise impact of the flight, but stressed it's part of the refining process for Starship and for future missions. Looking beyond all that, SpaceX aims to achieve full reusability with plans to send humans and cargo to orbit the moon and Mars. As noted, this new year will be transformational for Starship with the goal of bringing reuse of the entire system online and flying increasingly ambitious missions. Flight 7 will be a crucial step toward making space travel more sustainable and accessible. If you're excited about this mission as much as I am, reply, I'm ready in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Indeed, there's no doubt in my special mind that this year is set to be a pivotal one for SpaceX, and they've kicked off 2025 with a remarkable Falcon 9 mission. Specifically, at 8.27 p.m. Eastern on January 3rd, SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 in Florida. The rocket carried the Thorea 4 spacecraft into GSO, marking an important milestone for both the company and the satellite payload from the UAE's Thorea, a major provider of satellite communication services. 
The mission's booster, B-1073, landed on the ASOG drone ship after nearly nine minutes, marking its 20th successful landing. This also brought the total of number of successful landings for SpaceX to 341 so far. Following the booster landing, the payload was deployed into orbit about 35 minutes later, further highlighting the precision and reliability of rockets from SpaceX. This is the 418th Falcon 9 mission and SpaceX's 435 overall, launched from SLC-40, which accounted for nearly two-thirds of Falcon 9 launches in 2024. The pad saw 62 launches, including the quick turnaround of booster B-1080, and is set to remain crucial throughout 2025 alongside other active pads. As the first Falcon 9 launch of 2025, this mission marks the start of a busy year, with over 180 Falcon 9 and 25 Starship launches planned. Following a record-setting 2024 with 138 missions, SpaceX is now in acceleration mode, building momentum toward Flight 7. The excitement for upcoming missions is growing, setting the stage for ground-breaking all around for this year. And to that, as the kids say these days, let's go! As always, this has been Kevin. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.